So in the last video we learned how to create routes and here we can see the two valid routes for our application. So MVC stands for Model View Controller and in this video we're going to be doing the controller which is the C in Model View Controller. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our text editor and we're going to create a folder called controllers. And inside our controllers folder we're going to create two controllers, one for the about us page and one for the contact us page. So we're going to right click create a new file, the first one's going to be about us. The next one's going to be contact us and we could create another file called controller and this could be our base controller. So on controller what we're going to do is create a new PHP block and we're going to create an empty class called controller. Then on the about us page we're going to create another PHP block and we're going to create a class called about us and it's going to extend controller. So that way if we have any default functionality we want to put in our controller or we want every controller to have it, we can do that. But for the minute we're going to leave it blank, we might not even use it. And we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it in contact us and we're just going to change about us to contact us. So now that we've created our controllers, we want a way to actually run them and display the code within them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our routes class, which is in our classes folder. And when we set a route, at the minute what we're doing is we're printing it out. What we want to do is run this function. This variable called function maps to this actual function on the routes page. So this code will get run whenever we set the route. We don't want it to just run when the route gets set. We want it to run when we actually access that specific route. So to run the code in this function, we have to use a special PHP method. One we didn't create, but one that's built into PHP. We get our function variable and instead of printing out all of the routes, we're just going to comment that out. And below that, we're going to say a function and we're going to use this arrow operator and we're going to say underscore underscore invoke and that will run the code. This is designed so that if you store a function in a variable, you can execute the function using this underscore underscore invoke method. So now if I run the page, what you'll see is we will get about us and contact us printed out. You can see there we go, we get both routes printed out because this function is being run no matter what route we're accessing, it's just being run because we're executing the set method. So what we want to do is change that so that it only runs when we access the about us route. So what we want to do is make sure this function only gets run if we are actually on the current route. So in order for that to work, we need to know what page the user's on. And if we go back to our HT access page, you can see that every single request that we get for our website goes to index.php and then it's passed as a URL parameter. So in order to find out what page the user's on and therefore what route they're using, all we have to do is say if get URL equals root, then we'll say function invoke. So now if we run that, you can see we get nothing printed out because at the minute the get variable will be equal to index.php because that's the page we're on, even though it's not actually in the address bar, but we're on the root of the website. But if I go to about us, now you can see about us gets printed out because the about us function was executed. So now we've solved the first problem and what we want to do now is load the controller from the root. So what we want to do is access the about us class. So what we want to say is about us and we could run a method called something like create view. So now if we save that, we're going to get an error because on our index page, we're auto loading the classes, but we're only auto loading classes from the classes folder. So we want to auto load our controllers as well. So to fix this, all we need to do is we need to say if file underscore exists and we just paste in this, then we'll require it. Else if file exists, and we paste this in again and we change this to controllers, then we'll just require the controller or we require the class. So let's run this. You can see we get no errors printed out and the reason we get no errors is because we're not actually running the about us code but if I go to about us we're going to get another error. You can see we get a call to an undefined method. So what we want to do is go to our controller class and create a method called create view. So it's going to be a public static function create view and then here what we're going to do is just echo view created. And the reason we're creating it in the base controller class is because the about us class will extend the controller so it will have access to this method and every single controller will have a create view method so it makes sense to create it once in the base controller class. So now if I run that, you can see it says view created and I copy and paste this, change this to contact us and therefore we get no errors, we try this again and contact us and we get view created again. So that's been a really simple introduction to controllers in MVC. Next, what we're gonna be doing is creating views for the specific pages. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit, and I'll see you next time.